hello and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all really well and having a nice day i'm actually having like a really productive day and we're getting stuff done i'm taking things off my list because i've just had like so many like really random little bits and bobs to do and i don't know i just feel like i've got a lot on my list and it's been really stressing me out hopefully once i've done a few more of the things on my list I feel a little bit more chilled about any, everything. Anyway, that is not what this video is about. One of my most asked questions that I get, um, kind of to do with like apprenticeships and stuff is where to apply for them. So I thought I would sit down and tell you like where I apply for mine. I'm gonna recommend you guys some websites, some little tricks that I have and yeah just a few like general bits and bobs so hopefully this video helps i get a lot of dms about this on instagram and it takes me so long to sit and reply to all of them so hopefully in the future i can just direct them to this video um i've also got some other apprenticeship videos coming up um for example i'm gonna do a assessment center one because that's another question that i get asked 24 7 hopefully you find this video helpful but anyway let's get straight on into it okay so i am not really doing this in any particular order i've got a few websites to recommend you guys and i've also got like one kind of trick um which i'll talk to you about which i did and it worked really really well for me so yeah we're gonna start with the most obvious place which is the place that my school told me to apply through like where to look some of you might already know this but i just want to say it in case anyone watching this doesn't but that is the government website if you go on there they literally have like an apprenticeship section and you can filter it with like keywords so you could put in like the sector that you want to go into and then underneath that you have like a locations tab um i think you might also be able to set up like an email notification of when you get more jobs come through also i just want to add in there are obviously like a lot of job websites i'm trying to think of some there are obviously a lot of like job websites which do like general jobs personally i've never really found one that i like um not any of the ones that i looked at when i was applying for apprenticeships because they're just like jobs in general as well as apprenticeships i just think if you specifically want an apprenticeship maybe go towards a more tailored website because i just feel like you just get like a better choice i don't know i just kind of preferred it another one which i really love to use is linkedin if you don't have a linkedin account and you want a job or an apprenticeship please change that straight after this video like have a linkedin account use it to like post say if you went to like an event if you've done work experience have all that stuff on there because your employer nine times out of ten will look at that when they interview you but the reason that i love it for applying for apprenticeships is because there is like a job section on the website where you can go through and look for jobs it's really easy to use and it makes it really easy to apply as well and they also send like i get it every single week a little thing come through the name of a job and so many other jobs recommended for you and it will like send you an updated list and it'll be like i don't know like 10 jobs which are tailored to you whether it be like your skill set or like the career you want to go in etc i think it's a really good thing to use and when i was looking for apprenticeships i had like a thing in my header on there saying like seeking like an apprenticeship and like the industry i wanted to go into and i used to get like recruiters message me being like hey like i've seen this job i think you might be interested in or whatever like people whose job it literally is to find you a job it's a great website to use i'd really recommend it i just want to say all these websites will be linked in the description along with any others that i've kind of think of when i'm editing this video another one which i really love to use is an app called debut um i don't even know how i come across this if i'm honest with you but it was so good like i really really loved using it um it's really simple to use again they send you emails and they're tailored to you and like what job you want you basically like sign up to the app you like um, select specific jobs that you'd want to do and they have loads of grad and like apprenticeship jobs on there it was a really good app it was really straightforward to use and i like the fact it was like specifically tailored towards that and they also gave you advice and they'd like send you emails through and stuff um that was like a really really good app it's free download it just create an account and it's really easy to find jobs on there and i did use it to actually apply for jobs on there another website which was quite a good one is the website not going to uni they also have a twitter page which again i'd recommend following that because they just post on their like jobs that they've got going on at the minute obviously like the gov website is a very well known thing to use but a really good tip that i have and i feel like I'm not being too helpful by saying this because I can't help everyone specifically because it depends on where you live in the country. Um, but we had a like 
um, career advisor kind of person come into our school and they used to speak to us about apprenticeships. She used to come in a lot and like everyone in our school knew her. Um, so she used to help a lot of us and outside of school she would send us a lot of emails. She would like update us with different jobs like all sorts. She would just, yeah, she was so helpful. She basically used to send out like a bulletin every two weeks, every month, every week. I can't even remember. Um, but it was so useful and it had tons of apprenticeships on there broken down into like what industry they were in there were so many companies on there it was really useful so yeah they're called like an employability and skills advisor but if you just go on like your council's website so i feel like i'm not being very helpful um just look at like your councils so, like the county that you live in your council's website um and then try and find a skills advisor i'm not really sure i feel like i'm being so unhelpful right now some other good websites which i didn't really use too much but i just want to kind of like mention to you guys um there's a website called what career live they do shows across the country i think um and yeah they also have a what university live one as well if that was helpful and you wanted to go to that as well but yeah they post apprenticeships on their website and they also do like a show thing that you can go to i really recommend that and i think they have a newsletter on their website that you can sign up to again i signed up to that and that's really useful some other websites are get my first job investment 2020 um london market group national career services not going to uni i think i already mentioned that one and the ucas website because believe it or not they actually have apprenticeships on there so all those will be linked in the description hopefully you can go through some of them and they will help you the next big one which is the one that i used and that i figured out and i think i can't even really take credit for this it was my dad that told me to do this and it was such a good idea and it honestly worked so well for me so basically what i would do i'm gonna actually get my laptop and do it with you guys and like show you what i did i feel like i'm gonna explain it to you properly and show you what i actually mean because it really does work doing this okay here we go so basically i'm gonna do it for the industry that i work in because this is exactly what i did but i would type in like something along the lines of like wikipedia and the industry that you want to work in so obviously you don't have to know which specific industry you could do this loads of different ones um so i would type in like financial if i can type <laughs> financial services companies apologies for that my dad wronged me anyway that's what we were saying it comes up with a list of the largest financial services companies by revenue you could get a list of these from literally any like type of company the better way to do it though is to type in like where you want to work so if you wanted to work in london and you wanted to do a financial services role type in like financial services companies in London or in Birmingham or Manchester or wherever it is you live. And then it should come up Wikipedia financial services companies based in London. So like go ahead and click on that or whatever. This is the exact type of thing that I used to use. And I used to do this for like loads of different things. So I type in financial services, like accountancy, all these different like things. And I basically, I would go through as many of them as I could. Obviously it depends how long the list is of the one that you used search for yeah i would go through as many of these as i could so like i type in i type in the company name and then just go on their website and look at jobs and see if they had apprenticeships and if it was kind of tricky to find i type in the company name followed by apprenticeship into google and if it come up then great if it didn't then i just crossed it off the list and ignored it i spent like three minutes max on each one of these just like going through and you'd quickly find some and then when i did find some that had an apprenticeship then i would write down in the notes app on my phone the name of the company and i'd come back to it at a later date and apply for them all or like say if some of them hadn't released them yet i would have it on my phone ready for when they do release them etc so hopefully that helps that is like my the thing that i did and that was how i applied for most of the companies that i applied for was just by doing that also probably another really really good way to do it is to just like type in largest companies in london and then here we go this is the exact one that i got the majority of mine off of it says list of companies based in london again do this for any like county or city or whatever it is a long list like i am not stupid i know that is so long and i know you can't go through all of them 
but I would literally go through and I'd sit there with my dad. So I'd maybe recommend doing it with a parent, a brother or sister or someone like that to help you go through them all. And what would happen is I'd be sat here and my dad would be like, oh, I know that company, have a look at that one, or this one's good and that one's good, etc." And I would just go through this list and like, obviously this list is so ridiculously long, but I'd really recommend doing this. So just type in like largest companies in and then what city and it will come up with so many. So hopefully that helps, especially if you wanna work in London because clearly there is a lot. And then I'd do the exact same thing. I'd go on their website and see if they had apprenticeships. I think the reason that this works so well is because not all companies advertise apprenticeships as much as they kind of should. Um, so it means that you just won't ever see them. So I applied for companies that like, I, I knew the name of, but like no one ever said they had apprenticeships. I'd never seen an advert for it. I'd never seen it come up on the job websites, etc. So I feel like this is a really good way to kind of get the more niche companies, which aren't like advertising them quite as much, which will give you a benefit. It means that less people will be applying for them essentially. Little trick, that is what I did. That is like my little top secret trick of where to look for apprenticeships. The final one that I'm gonna talk about in today's video is just Google jobs. I didn't know this was a thing, but if you type in like whatever job it is you want to do and then followed by Google jobs, there'll be like an automated little tab come up in your Google search thing and it will show you loads of jobs. When I was using this, I would find that the jobs I was finding on there and the apprenticeships I was finding were really like niche and specific and I hadn't seen them on any other website. I'm not really sure why that is. The link will sometimes like take you through to LinkedIn or take you through to the company's website or might take you through to like Indeed or somewhere like that. Um, but yeah, it's a really good place to find them. I was finding ones I just hadn't seen anywhere else. So hopefully that helps you again find ones which are a little bit more different. Um, so yeah, hopefully that helps. I feel like I've spoke to you guys so much in this video. So yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if this video has helped you and if you're applying for apprenticeships, what you're applying for, what websites you've used. And yeah, like I said, all these will be linked in the description of this video. If you're new here and this is the first video you've ever watched, thank you so much for clicking on this video. It means the world. Please go down below and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. I've only got a hair in my mouth, bear with. And yeah, I'm really out of breath from literally just talking. So that's great. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye. Oh,